This last application for the dual universal slope generator is a little bit of a stretch, but it works better than you think it should, I have to admit. And it's to use it as an envelope follower to go ahead and use these slopes to slow down the undulations of an audio waveform and turn it into a control voltage that can play with something else. To test this idea, I'm going to go ahead and take a drum loop I've got playing in my disting over here. Let's just go ahead and patch it up quickly so you can hear what that sounds like. I'm going to plug it into this blue input. And I'm going to take that and feed it into the external audio input. Drone it. Open up the filter. And switch over from my oscillator to my drum loop. And you can see the drum loop there on the distings display. What I want to do is take that same waveform, I'm going to take the other channel of the output from the disting, and run it through the slope generator to try to drive an envelope. I'm on my basic starting position here, no exponential, rise and fall, around 10 o'clock or so. Take my A output, go to my input on my slope generator, and take the output of my slope generator. I'm just going to take the normal output, I don't need to be bipolar, I want envelopes to be positive voltages. Run it into input number three over here, Initially, it looks a little bit funky, but we'll fix that. And we're going to take that to, ah, let's say, the filter cutoff. Let's go ahead and lower the cutoff here. Default settings aren't so good, but what we want for an envelope follower, particularly for percussive sounds, is to rise very quickly to catch those transients, and then to release and follow the release shape of a particular percussion sound. So I want my rise to go full clockwise to go as fast as possible. Already, you see the magenta waveform is following the outline of the blue waveform. I can decide how smoothly or how closely it follows it by changing my fall time. If I want to be very close representation, I'm kind of FMing the filter at this point because I'm very closely tracing the input waveform. But as I slew it more and more, it's going to turn into a control voltage. Eventually, it becomes just a simple attack decay envelope. And of course, I can play with my exponential shapes as well. If I wanted more of an exponential release. Not too bad. How's that sound on a normal oscillator waveform? Turn the cutoff all the way down. Not too bad. If I was to FM it with a very fast fall time, you hear basically the drums are frequency modulating the filter that the oscillator is going through. I'll slow this down. Now I have a very simple tactic envelope. I can make it linear. for that exponential shape. Now I can play a little bit with the rise time to smooth things out, but it will slow down the attack. Not a big help, to be honest. For following percussive sounds, I'm good with just playing with fall time. Let's try the other shape. Now, uh, see, that's closer to our classic envelope shape, isn't it? That's even better. Or if we want to process a drum loop. So this is why people speak in such hushed, revered tones about the surge dual universal slope generator, and other modules such as Maths, Felistre, Rampage, etc. that are inspired by it. A couple slope generators, some intelligent patching, you can get a lot out of it.